Hey guys, and today I... My dad is in the next room doing his stuff. Just bear with me. Out of whack. Today I am doing a 10 year birth soft looks collection makeup tutorial. This is my first makeup tutorial so bear with me. Um, a few of you guys have requested this video ever since I released the Tanya Burr soft looks collection first impressions video. Is that right? Whatever. I'm not going to be using all of the items, I'm just going to be using some of them. But this is hopefully going to go okay. <laughs> Without her glasses, oh, everyone's everyone finds it weird when I don't wear my glasses, but I'm that used to my face without my glasses, it's okay. I'm not going to use primer for this video, I am going to be using my moisturiser because my face is so dry and I really need to moisturise it. So I'm using my Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Kind of Skin Replenishing Moisturiser, it is my favourite and it is almost all, all gone, so hopefully it covers my face. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline New York Dream Satin Liquid and I am going to be using this in number 4 Light Porcelain. I have gone through so many bottles of this, it's li literally like my everyday foundation. So what I do is I squirt a little bit on my finger, oh my gosh there's nothing coming out of this, okay. And I basically just dot it on my face to begin with just to get a kind of even coverage. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques face brush, face, face, the name's rubbed off so I'm basically just brushing the foundation in a downward motion because if you didn't know your face is full of hairs so if you brush it down it's brushing those hairs down and it gives you a more flawless look. actually my first makeup tutorial. I did one around Christmas last year but I never posted it because I went to edit it and I really didn't like it. So yeah, it's taken me this long to do another one. I don't know why but I really love this foundation. Not one of my favourites but it is like the perfect everyday drugstore foundation. So for concealer I use a combination of two. I use the collection concealer in fair which is number one. I use it that much. The name is like already rubbing off and this is like my 50th tube of this so I love that. It's like my favourite. It is my favourite. It's not my like. It is. It's my favourite concealer from the drugstore. And then I'm going to be using the Real Skin Urban Decay Concealer. It is heavenly. I absolutely love this. This is in Fair Neutral, so they're both quite fair. So I'm going to use this on my chin, on my cupid's bow, down my nose, over that, a little bit up there. I'm going to go in and use this brush. This is also by Real Techniques and this is the contour brush. Yes, I don't use brushes what they're named for but this is just perfect for blending my concealer. For the concealer under my eyes, I normally go and use a sponge. This is just a, a beauty base sponge. It's just cheap and very dirty. It needs a wash, really. I love this concealer. 
Ja. To set my face, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. You know, recently I found my love for this. I still love it. Oh, and the brush I'm using for this is the also Real Techniques. I'm just going to be using mainly Real Techniques brushes today. This is the blush brush, but it's just perfect for powder, in my opinion. It's just beautiful. For contour, I'm going to be using my Sleep contour kit in the shade light I believe it is so dearly loved like I've had this for so long and it's hit pan or just hit pan the highlight especially but I love it it's like one of my favorites drugstore wise and I've tried a few in this one I just just love Let me know what contour kits you would recommend because I would love to find some new ones and try them out. I'm using the Zoeva Lux Face Paint Brush 109 and I just use that for the cheekbones to accentuate my cheekbones. get my collection concealer again and use that as a base or a primer I do have primer but sometimes I like to use concealer and that's what I'm gonna use so. I'm now gonna zoom you in so you can I am going to be using this, which is the Tanya Burr Birthday Suit Palette. It is beautiful and I have used it a few times, not much, but a few times. So I'm going to take the 228 Lux Crease Brush and this is the Zoeva Rose Gold 2nd Edition, I believe. And I'm going to go in and just sweep this shade here called Toast all over my eye, just dab it in. Finer 227 Zoeva in the first rose gold collection, and I am going to take this soft truffle brown shade right here. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of that in. Oh, that's a bit too much. I don't know how well that's gonna be. touch eyeshadow um, brush just a simple one I've had this for years I'm not sure how long but I'm gonna use the shade marzipan here and just do that right in the center of my eyelids just to give it a little highlight goodness right in my eye <laughs> I can't even see blend that all out. 
now I'm taking the 221 Look Soft Crease Brush and just blending the outside so it's not so that, that much of a harsh line. I wasn't going to use all of the shades in this palette, but I think I'm going to brave it. I'm going to do it. So I'm taking the Lux Petite Crease by Zoeva, and I'm going to take the Cocoa Sugar. And I'm just going to go in the crease with this glittery shade, just over that, just over, what was it, Soft Truffle. Blast from the past, but I'm taking the Galaxy Eye Palette and I'm using the shade Snowflake. This here, I love this for the inner corner of my eye. I just absolutely love it. It is my go to, like, pretty much all the time when I'm doing this kind of eye look. By Barry M. This is a cute. This is like my first eyeliner brush, like flat brush. And I'm gonna take Toast first. I'm gonna take that under the eye from from Snowflake. So just near Snowflake, just sweeping it to the center. Soft truffle, and that is going to come from the outside, out of the, like that, sweeping it in. No, I'm no professional at this. This is all just what I do and how I like to do it, so there's no, I just think there's no rule when you're doing it yourself. you like to do it. The mascara I'm going to be using is Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama. This I love to use for kind of a natural look. It doesn't give my eyelashes a really curly effect. It just gives it that, I don't know, that push up. <laughs> so with this I kind of just like, first of all just tip it on the edges of the eyelashes and then just wiggle it a bit and then lengthen them, just go along them. Exhale. For eyebrows, this is my absolute favourite. This is the Archery Brow Tint and Precision, Precision Shaping Pencil by Second Glory. And I'm going to use, not that end, wrong end. I'm going to use the kind of crayony pencil end. Revlon's Rose Rose Glow. I absolutely have been loving this and I can't open it. Ever since I got back from holiday, I've just been sweeping this all over my face. It's the perfect wash of colour all over my face. Straight after I've had a tan, it's just perfect. This is the Lux Luxie 504 Large Angled Brush. I'm going to sweep that right on my cheek and I'm going to be basically concentrating my brush on these three three shades of the powder. <laughs>
it a little bronze effect because I'm not going to be using a bronzer for this look because I'm already so tan and I just want this to be kind of a natural a natural glowy look for highlight I'm going to be using the Solstice highlighting palette it is to die for it's just so gold and shimmery but the only problem is you get so many fingerprints on it the shade I'm going to be using is Aquanix, Equinox, I don't know, but basically it's this bronzy orangey shimmery shade here and that is just going to go right above my cheekbones. I'm going to be using a body collection, body collection, I got this from the from Body Care, I think, or it was from the market, I can't remember, but this is a pound, it was just a bargain and it's basically the flat foundation brush and I use it for my highlights sometimes and it works. I might have done a little bit too much there. We can we can work with that. <laughs> I love this palette though. It's this highlighting palette. It's like one of my favourite. It is my favourite. No, one of my favourite. One of my favourite drugstore highlights. and then bring it down so it's kind of like a C shape that little bit of glow just even that out because I went a little bit overboard on the highlight on this side of my face I think I'm just going to take my powder Rimmel powder and just Blend that in. And blend that in with the Real Techniques brush. Just to soften it down a bit. Talking about highlight, if you heard about the Urban Decay Naked Highlight Palette they're going to be releasing, me and my friend Aaliyah were just all over it I cannot wait for it to be released it's just gonna be the bomb it's like a few marks it's been it's been dearly loved but I'm taking the Martha Moo Tiny Burr matte lip I cannot emphasize how much I love this lipstick it's just it's just stunning off the look I'm just gonna pop a little bit of the highlight in my contour kit from collection and put a little bit down my nose and under my eyebrows just to give those two places a little bit of highlight <laughs> this lipstick that is the finished look I hope you like this video if you have any more requests or recommendations for videos we will happily take them and we will try them out um, um, it was really fun doing this video and I much prefer doing this video than my previous makeup tutorial that you guys have not seen but my battery is running really low and I have to go because I'm going out with my best friend don't have a clue what we're doing probably going Pokemon hunting again um, but yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I love you guys, really do appreciate all your support, and I will see you next video. Bye guys! My eyebrows. This face brush, or, or Facebook. Uh, Facebook? <sighs> use a, a user, oh my gosh, I cannot get my words out. So can you see... That was right in my eye. The brush went right in my eye. That was not good. Hello? Everybody knows.
and it's going to annoy me. <sighs> what is wrong with me? There's a fly right behind me. I don't know where that's gone. That is the end of this video. Please give this video a get out my face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Windows that way. There. Okay. Love you guys. Love. Love from the heart. Right from the heart. Right from here. I love you. Okay, so as you all know this morning, I did a tutorial on Tanya Burr's um, soft looks collection and I went out Pokemon hunting and I did say at the time that I was going with my best friend. Well, my best friend is right here and we have for weeks been going out constantly trying to find a Pikachu and not even, because I caught one in Italy, as you all know, when this goes up, hopefully I'll have done the vlog by then, but um, yeah, I caught a, P a Pikachu in Italy and Katie was determined to get one when, when I came back from Italy. And ever since then we've practically been going out, every, well, as much as we can to try and find one. We've been resourcing it all over, like trying to find out where the spots are, but we thought we'd come all the way up to um, our own at Victoria Park in Leicester, um, where we live. and. We were, we were trying to find, we were having no luck and we were trying to find um, pincers because they were all on the radar and I'd got plenty already and she's, Katie still hasn't got one. Anyway, cut it to the point, we just saw a Pikachu on the radar and not even kidding, like Katie was like shut off and I was like no you need to calm down and we need to find where it is, like and I was like just keep walking so I came in and out of my app it came to first on my app and I was like, right, we're going to walk straight up here. It was still third on Katie's, so I said to get out of her app and go back in just to check in case, like, it's somewhere else. Anyway, as she came in and out of her app, was it third? Is it still third? Yeah, third. Still third. Mine was still first and within, like, two footsteps, it appeared right in front of us. And I was like, okay, it's there! And then we were both, like, <laughs> standing there trying to... I'm trying to switch it that way, I'm trying to um, catch it, and I was just, I was like, just calm down, we just breathe, we can do this, and then I'd caught mine, but I didn't say anything because I was waiting for her to catch hers, and I wanted her to concentrate. Anyway, <laughs> she used an ultra ball. How many times did you use it? Just the one. Just the one. Got it straight away. One ultra ball, and she got it straight away, and we both were like <laughs> crying. <laughs> Katie's there. It is. There it is. We're, She's like in tears. I'm like half crying because I cried when I got mine in Italy. But Pikachu's are everything, man. Oh, <laughs> especially, <laughs> especially when you can't find that many at all in Leicester. Like the only one time it came on my radar was when we were traveling out of Leicester to Loughborough and it came on my radar and no one stopped. Like I was sat in the back seat and I was like, nobody cares. Nobody cares about Pikachu. <laughs> Because the driver had already caught one and I was just like, oh, I don't care if you've caught one. I was ready to get out of the car. But um, yeah, that was a great catch of the day. <laughs> and I had to add this on the end of the video because I thought it's worth vlogging since we've said for a while we were going to vlog Pokemon hunting, but we just never got around to it until finally we catch a Pikachu and... I'm yet to catch a pincer if we do. Yeah, where is it? Is it still on the Sun radar? third. So third. But... Oh my gosh. Oh, it's gone second. It's oh, so. gone first. Oh. So it's gone first, so I'm gonna vlog this bit. It's like the only one on the radar though. <laughs> until until we find it, or Kate finds it on hers and then I'll have to cut it. And then it. it'll disappear again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, another Pikachu. Found one in England. Mine was 414, much better than the one I got in Italy, which was 11. But as my cousin said, it was 11 for a reason, so you could catch it. Because I think my cousins fled when he was trying to catch his, or my brothers. I'm not sure. Maybe we all caught it. I can't remember. But Katie's finally, Katie finally has a freaking Pikachu, all because of a Victoria Park. Knew it. I told you. And there it is. There's Pinsa. <laughs> Wait a minute, there it is. Let's just get it on the camera. There it is. I'm going to go try and catch this now. 
and says key. So, bye.